Hi everyone, uh, this is Carmina, I'm an astrologer and card reader, welcome to my channel, Your Stars Align, there's also a website with the same name where you can see more articles that I write about the occult and also info about readings. So yeah, uh, today I'm making this video because um, a couple of days ago a um, musician that I like and that's Little Peep. As you can see from the video title, um, recently and tragically passed away, like maybe two weeks before he, he turned 21, right? So um, I wanted to, to look at his chart, just to look at how his life reflects in his chart. I won't be like judgmental in any way, I'll just... I'll just... Um, say what I see right and uh, for those of you who are watching and or subscribe to my channel because you're interested in astrology and don't know who Lil Peep is well he was an up-and-coming rapper he had like 14-15 million views on his uh, latest YouTube videos and I've seen that since he died he garnered like one two million views for like three days in like three days and that's kind of ironic because a couple of days before he died he posted on instagram a picture with a caption uh, you love me more when i'm dead right yeah he was always uh, talking about a death and suicide he, he was saying in his music that He's a god of the underworld, so even since his teenage years, he, he said he had this darker side that thought about suicide a lot, and that in his day-to-day -day life, he really he didn't really talk about it, but in his songs, they were an outlet for, for his, his dark side, right? So, yeah, let me uh, pull up his chart, and while I do that, I'm just gonna tell you more about him. So, um, just one second. I'm using Kala software to look at the charts. And also, one more thing. So, his birth date is November 1st, 1996. But there is no time on the internet. However, uh, because I watched many of his interviews in one of them he says he is born on Halloween night right so that makes me think it's like before like 4 or 5 a.m. because that's not night anymore so he's like born from midnight to 3 4 a.m. and I rectified his chart a bit like according to events in his life and I think he his ascendant is either Virgo with Mars in it, or it's Libra with Venus and Rahu, Rahu meaning the North Node. So I think I would lean towards um, Libra more, because if you know Lil Peep, he's got like lots of tattoos, like his face and body is co are covered with tattoos, and that's more of a North Node thing, right? To embellish your your body artificially with that kind of thing and um, also he has Venus with Venus in the ascendant he also was a model for uh, for some clothing companies right and that makes sense and also like the the colors he dyed his hair with that it, it's like all north node and his chart so he would have um, a Libra ascendant right with Venus and the North Node as I was saying and um, yeah what is the ascendant the ascendant is the body and um, he would have no aspects to that no Rashi aspects uh, he would just have like uh, planetary aspect Saturn and the south node 
opposite his ascendant and yeah Saturn with the south node is a pretty difficult placement because um, Saturn is you know it's the more more uh, painful chronic things in one's life and more burdensome things and hard work you know and unfortunately in his case Saturn is debilitated because it's in debilitation sign of Aries so not a good Saturn um, and yeah that's that's not very auspicious for longevity also a malefic in the ascendant like the north node is also not very auspicious for longevity and besides he had Jupiter debilitated in the fourth house and um, yeah what else the seventh house where Saturn and the south node are it's also the so-called Maraka house in Sanskrit Maraka it's like the seventh is used to look at indications for the demise of a person right so with Saturn there on the one hand Saturn there is strong because it has a lot of thick bala but it's debilitated because it's in Aries right and if we look at the Time Lord period that um, little peep was running now he's in Saturn uh, Rahu so Saturn North Node so this nodal axis was very active and the south and north node are actually like fate just pulling us out there you know because uh, he had like such a he's such a self-made person right he um was just he didn't really like going to school too much he was just staying in his room a lot of the time in his teenage years and listening to to indie artists uh, from SoundCloud and stuff and then he bought a $200 microphone and he started making music and then he became quite famous in the underground scene like I told you he's got like 15 million views a video but he was going to I mean everybody says that he was the next big thing to make it in the the mainstream right and he was also saying I read an interview from the beginning of this year and he was also like I want to be a household name I want to be successful in mainstream because I got this far in sh such a short time and I know I, I can make it so yeah I mean he's got this drive of the north node in the first house that like really pushes you out there to be individualistic and do your own thing um, and in Libra Libra refers to trade but and it has Venus there it's also it, and Venus is also the significator of art so yeah he was an entertainer he was out there that was his individuality with um with his all his persona and the way that he was but at the same time it was detrimental to him to his physical body right and another interesting thing about him like he had one tattoo with exactly the sign of the south node on his forehead like right between his eyes and I saw in, in an interview that he said uh, like oh that's just like a horseshoe <laughs> but I think it's like a funny coincidence and I don't think their coincidence really exists you know so yeah the nodal axis the south node the north node the south node being with Saturn and him being so connected to to the dark the a darker side you know and north node on his ascendant i think that really was a main uh, uh, that was running the show in his life right the north south node axis also the fact that his ascendant was hemmed by malefic so he had the north node which is a malefic in the ascendant and in the 12th from the ascendant he had mars which is a malefic and in the second he had the sun which is a malefic and mercury which is also a malefic by association with the sun right 
because mercury is usually neutral but when it's with a malefic it also becomes malefic so this this combination is called evil scissors right and it hurts the body especially the planet in the 12th which is mars and mars also relates to burns right um, so one of the things like even the tattoos i mean even if they're beautiful they still hurt the body because they're burns so yeah that's one of other interesting things that can like reflect his more self-destructive nature um okay so in the second house he had sun and mercury in scorpio in the second house uh, we have um wealth but we also have like skills and environment and uh, with the sun there and mercury it makes one intelligent skillful and also the sun is the significator for the the singer and he was a singer right he has like the perfect placements for a singer with the birth time that i rectified like if his birth certificate shows up and uh, at the time is different i will gladly stand corrected but from what i've seen that's what i think he has a libra ascendant with venus the significator of entertainment in the first house with sun uh the singer the one that makes him a singer in the second house and mercury that gives him a skill and uh intelligence and then he has jupiter in the fourth house unfortunately in capricorn um jupiter is the significator of joy the joy in our life right since it's debilitated you know he didn't get much of this joy um the fourth house is also the um, the placement for the um, where you can see the person's mother from one of the the things you can see the mother from the moon you can see it from mars you can see it from the fourth house and the fourth lord right so from the fourth house with um, debilitated jupiter so i see like it's a benign person but she can't really help him all that much because it's debilitated right in the 10th we see the moon which is in cancer and moon in cancer can also be a teacher right and his mother was actually a teacher as was his father so also jupiter can be a teacher moon in cancer can be a teacher you know so that's really interesting the moon is also the the significator for music for rhythm for the beats and in the 10th house the 10th house is the the house of your career your public image your reputation so the moon being there makes a lot of sense um what else can we see okay his father uh we can look at the father from the sun we can look at from the 10th and we can look at from venus so yeah he's his father from the 10th if the moon is there it's good also a teacher but from the sun in the second and yeah if venus with rahu with the north node that's a bit more also i wanted to mention that the moon in his case is a malefic because it's past one uh, 180 degrees from the sun right so it's a malefic moon the malefic moon gives by taking right yeah so i know that he his father and himself were not on good terms his father left them when little peep was 14 and he hasn't talked to him since right so um yeah what else can we see we can see that the eighth is in taurus and the eighth lord is in the first with a malefic so the eighth house is the house of breaks and the house of accidents and secret things and having uh, the eighth lord on the ascendant with a malefic that can be an indicator for unnatural death but there are a lot of 
things like you can't just look at one thing there's a whole like suit of things that can lead to like premature death and unnatural death so don't just look at one thing in your chart and freak out because it's not <laughs> that easy especially like if you really don't know about astrology you better like uh, ask a, an astrologer before you freak out so his eighth lord of breaks and of accidents is with the north node in the first um i also want to mention that his soul planet is the moon the soul planet is the planet with the highest degrees in one's chart and for a musician like it's the best to have the moon as your soul planet like he was really attuned to the rhythm of nature of the world not just like nature so he had this music within him um, and the planet with the second highest degrees in his chart that's Jupiter and that represents like the minister the counselor as one has and since Jupiter is debilitated no wonder like the people that were around him were not like really good maybe counselors and advisors you know because he was keeping with his drug habit um, yeah I think he also said not I think I'm sure he also said in an interview that he moved from where he first lived he moved because his environment he, he thought it was not good and it was pushing him to do like detrimental things to himself but unfortunately I don't think like his environment got any better I mean his manager uh, tweeted that after he died he tweeted that he saw this coming from last year but uh, yeah I mean he saw it coming everybody saw it coming but in the day before he died like little people posted this video of himself saying he he took like five or six Xanax so like you know like that was a public video anybody could have intervened but a few hours later his manager just found him like unconscious and yeah the, the police came and the ambulance came in they couldn't do anything so okay so I wanted to say that um, yeah for an artist we look at the first house and we saw that he's got entertainment factors with Venus and the north node pushing him on the stage and to be more different and more of an outcast like his face was covered in tattoos he even said about himself like um yeah because i i passed out so many times and i woke up with all these random tattoos i uh, i realized I, I can't get a normal job so i'm gonna focus on music so you know this this is how how life works but that was his destiny to be a musician i can definitely say that another thing uh, that i want to say so if we divide the chart nine times we look at the f for um, person's fulfillment with their path right and we look at the soul planet and his soul planet the moon in his ninth division of chart it's in sagittarius and that relates to a fall from a height right it can be a physical fall or it can be like a fall from reputation and his soul planet is also with the north node Rahu in the ninth divisional chart so we can see what an important role this north node um, played in his life you know so he was I mean really influenced by that and because his time lord his time lords right now are Saturn and Rahu so the North Node they really I don't know it really played out in this way because Rahu and Saturn also relate to poisons or drugs so yeah he this is what happened yeah so I, as I was saying his destiny was definitely to become a musician and it was to to be a visible musician and a, a different to be more out there more of an outcast just the way he was 
and yeah Saturn is still in Sagittarius and I guess it was kind of transiting his sign in his ninth uh, divisional chart his soul planet the moon so yeah I guess that and many other factors uh, led to his untimely demise so yeah my condolences to to all his family and all his fans um yeah I, i'm sad too and yeah that's what i i wanted to do a video just looking at his birth chart for a bit okay so yeah see you guys and check out my other videos if you're interested in astrology or musicians and let me know if you want me to do any other videos check out my my website yourstarsalign.com and again what i wanted to say to you guys like if anyone feels very depressed and has suicide thoughts please don't keep it inside just talk to a friend a family member or you know there's a lot of um helplines that you can talk to to people that are specialized in dealing with this these issues right okay so see you